Tesla's model three electric car, the car that's been billed for a really long time as the vehicle that would change the auto industry forever, is taking a little longer to reach customers than Tesla had originally hoped. And if you followed this channel and our weekly news roundup shows, then you'll know that things have been getting better, with Tesla Model 3 production figures ramping up week in and week out as Tesla's Fremont production facility irons out production line kinks and other related issues. To date, Tesla has been reasonably open about the delays to Model 3 production, pushing back production goals by six months or so and asking Model 3 customers to be patient. So far, we've heard of several different reasons for the delays, including production bottlenecks at the Reno Gigafactory, where Tesla makes the lithium-ion battery packs used to power Model 3. Indeed, back in January, reports from insiders at the Gigafactory claimed Tesla was having to make much of Model 3 battery packs by hand, a process that slowed down production volume and thus caused delays in Fremont where the Model 3 is actually put together. Since then, Tesla has made massive improvements in its Model 3 production line, addressing early quality control issues and working to eliminate factory bottlenecks, just as it did with Model S and Model X production before the Model 3 came along. But while Tesla planned for Model 3 to be a far less complicated car to build than either Model S or Model X, the complexity of the latter being the main reason Model X was actually delayed, it seems that Tesla still managed to make the Model 3 too complicated. Talking in the final of a series of interviews last week with CBS Good Morning's Gail King, Tesla CEO Elon Musk opened up that some of the challenges that Tesla is facing at the moment on Model 3 production line, and admitted that the production hell he'd warned his staff about was much worse than he'd thought. We've got complacent about some of the things we felt were our core technologies, Musk said, adding that Tesla put too much new technology into the Model 3 all at once. It's quite the revelation if you compare the difference between Model S, Model X, and Model 3. But it is important to know here that Musk isn't necessarily just talking about specific technologies like autopilot hardware, but also specific Model 3 components. Among them, I suspect, are the fully electric door release mechanisms, the landscape touchscreen display, and the new battery pack that was designed specifically for Model 3. Interestingly, though, it's not just technology inside Model 3 which appears to have caused problems. It's the technology used to produce Model 3, too. As probably the most high-tech automotive production line out there, Tesla has invested heavily in its Fremont facility, adding new production lines, paint shops, and robots to help it achieve high-volume Model 3 production. But, admitted Musk in this new interview, it turns out that Model 3 production line needs more humans and less robots in order to function at peak efficiency. While robots can speed repetitive things up like welding and painting, it turns out there are some things that humans would do a little more quickly and a little more efficiently. We had this crazy complex network of conveyor belts and it was not working, Musk explained to King, so we got rid of the whole thing. As if to push the point home, Musk answered a Wall Street journalist questions on Twitter on Model 3 production and automation by stating that excessive automation at Tesla was a mistake. To be precise, my mistake. Humans are underrated. It's stories like this which illustrate perhaps some of Tesla's weakest points and its strengths at the same time. Tesla, it appears, is still making rookie mistakes when it comes to vehicle production, many of them perhaps exacerbated by the rush to bring new vehicles to market. At the same time, however, Tesla's management structure and Silicon Valley mindset appears to be helping Tesla react and adapt very quickly to issues as they arise. The fact that Musk personally took over the job of overseeing Model 3 production line output and has been sleeping in a sleeping bag in one of the factory's conference rooms to be on hand in order to help solve problems is the kind of thing we're more used to seeing at a software startup than an automaker. While I've not always seen eye to eye with Musk's decision-making process, he once tore me down a peg or two on a press call for asking about insurance indemnity for customers using autopilot, I've got to admire the sheer passion that Musk has for Tesla and the future for clean energy and transportation. As someone who runs their own business, I even identify with some of the feelings Musk appears to be going through, including all the stress and a desire to get things right all the time as I battle with these on a daily basis personally. But being overeager, perhaps too complacent, shows a company that's living on the edge rather than taking the time to get things right first time. 
that's fine for a startup, but perhaps not for a company which is desperately keen to be taken seriously as a mainstream grown-up brand. Musk's interview with King is well worth a watch, so I'll link to it below. And thankfully for Tesla, production issues with Model 3 are out of the way. But the next company which wants to revolutionize the world of the new electric car should be taking notes. It's harder than it looks. Moreover, if you're trying to be disruptive in a marketplace, disruption is even harder. That's it. As always, hit the notification bell to hear the moment a new show is uploaded. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to this channel and check out our second channel, Transport Evolved Take Two, where you'll see all of the behind the scenes stuff, some extra live streams and goodies that don't make it to the main channel. And of course, if you'd like to keep this channel going, don't forget to follow the links below. Thanks for watching and until next time, keep evolving. That's it. Thanks for joining me. See you next time.